Good evening, America. Oh, there she is. Okay. Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Everything is fine. Thank you. And you? Um, I had better days. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I smell like gasoline. I, I smell like gasoline right now because I had an accident with my car. And I'm repairing it. So, uh, got a headache since yesterday. Uh, just going with it but it is what it is how do you say some of pobre in english i don't know <laughs> we are poor we're poor good we are poor poor yeah poor you know i used to say poor but poor is when you pour a liquid uh, uh, and poor yeah poor it's me poor it's us <laughs> okay. Oh my god, where are the others? Let's start the class. Okay. So what's in it for today? Did you practice? Hey, did you watch the video yesterday? Did anybody anybody practice the ED endings? No, teacher. Come on, really? Let me see. Yeah, no. How many views? Nine views. Very good. We have nine views on that video. Good. Yeah, and the, the last part, the last part was the, the EDN endings. I hope you watched it because that's going to help you on your pronunciation. Let's see. Okay. Everybody, can you read? this verb can you read it look at your zoom chat i'm worked, worked. good good worked. worked worked okay next saved Good job. Saved. Perfect. Good job. Next. You hugged. Hug hugged. Vanessa. You hugged. Stronger, stronger. You mm -mm. Listen to Erica. Hugged. Hugged. Perfect. You got it. Hugged. 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 What is hugged? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You can do that to past. yourself as well. Mm -hmm. In past. <laughs> yeah, in past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next. Stop. Stop. Again, again, Jamie. Uh huh. Good job, Nelson. Jamie. Stop. Like Nelson. Listen. Stop. You did it good at first. Stopped. Stopped. Okay. Stopped. Stopped. Okay. Uh. And oh my God, I cannot think about any other verb right now. Whew. You know what? Uh, well, we are nine so far. So let's do the attendance really quick so we can play something. Today's, well, today's Thursday, right? It's not Friday. I play games with students on Friday, not Thursday. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So let's see, Adriana, Jose, Serna Duran. Present. <laughs> Daniel Antonio Luna. Erika Yasmin Martinez Carpio. 
Present. Thank you. Fátima Denise Aguilar Marqués. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. Excellent. Teacher. Iba... Hey. I will listen. I will. I will be listener teacher. Okay. Will I be listener? <laughs> okay. Because I'm working in the pro. I. I okay. must present report tomorrow. Oh. Okay. I understand. Thank Ivan, you, Ivan Petrovic Guzman Aquino. He reported uh, problems. He had a job to do as well. Okay. Jolman Saul Giron Sanchez. Not here yet. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Lucy Natalie Juarez de Ramirez. Present teacher. Oh, thank you, Carla. <laughs> Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Lucy. Nelson Antonio de Rodas Rosales. Present. Ruth Isela Joaquín Flores. Present. Thank you. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Thank you. And Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Excellent. Okay, so. You didn't check my attendance. Who? Jamie, really? Jamie. Yeah, I did. Jamie Raquel Escobar oh, okay. Alfaro. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, so what's in it today? Um, we have to describe the benefits of promoting professional development. Huh. Professional development. Well, number one, what does that sound to you like? What do you understand by professional development in your own words? What does it sound like? Professional development. I think when you practice your that you're living in the university and when you are continuous roaming in your areas, for example, learn for the Learn uh, something that is last in your career. Uh, learn about technologies and and, and asking you uh, how I can how can I get or how can I get good knowledge about my career. About your something career, like okay. Yeah, that that's an idea. I mean it. If you want to grow professionally, you can study more, right? Get more prepared. And when it comes to your job, for example, Erika, do you have growing programs? Yes, we have. How does, how does that work? Okay, at the first we saw, okay, in, in my case, my, my boss saw a... Uh, Hello, <laughs> my boss. I'm sorry, I'm in the I'm in the different room. <laughs> my boss saw my experience in finances, and he. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm sorry, my mom and my little sister are here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> give it a try, give it a try, come on. Okay, so let's say that you're working. How can you grow in your company? What do you need? What do you need to grow? I think I think you need to uh, manage different information of um, different areas in the company. Mm -hmm. So you need experience. You need experience in, in a lot of topics, I think. Well, that's what we're about to study today. But for during the first minutes, we well, let's go with it. Um, experience in different areas. What happens if you have worked in the same company for 
20 years. And you're, you are the general manager. What is next? Picture, picture this. Repeat, picture this. <laughs> it's another way of saying, imagine this. Okay, picture this. Okay, you are 40, you are 40 years old. You are the general manager of the company. You have worked there for 20 years. What else can you do? You are not the owner. You don't own the company. You work there as a general manager, manager and you have worked 20 years. Can you do something else? Come on, turn on your microphones. Come on, think, 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 think. It's a big company, come on. And you're the general manager. What do you do now? No idea? Can you grow? Okay, you don't have a way to grow. Yes, you can. Maybe you can become a, a shareholder. You can become a shareholder. I like that. But the shareholders are, you know, a family. Not in in the old cases, I think. No, no, no. I'm giving you, I'm <laughs> giving you the scenario. I'm giving you the scenario. It's a family business. It's a big company, and you're the general manager. You have been the general manager for five years already. So you know el teje maneje. How do you say that in English? No idea. No. <laughs> you got the know how. You got the know-how. You know what is know-how? You got the know-how. It's like nice. a, sorry, it's like a saber como, know-how. Know how to do things. The know-how is part of a process, a Chinese process, or I can't remember if it's Korean process. I can remember. This is a set of steps and know-how is like the base for everything. Get to know how to do things. That's basic, it's fundamental. When you start a business, you need to know how to do things. How do you get the know-how? Experience is what they said, experience. Okay, so you got the know-how, five years working, general manager, but you cannot be a shareholder, what do you do? Get retired and travel to the world. <laughs> no. Travel around the world. That sounds like fun because you're 40, but you have a wife and your wife hates traveling. She's a grumpy woman. She's toxic. Uh oh. You get divorced. <laughs> you get divorced. I like that plan, but no. no. Okay. Picture it. What do you do? Okay. You can get trained. How do you get trained nowadays? Nowadays, it's very easy, I will say. When you enrolled in a course. In a course, okay. In a course. Okay. Now, you enroll in a course. 
now you have been a manager, you know everything, so you enroll in the course. What kind what kind of course do you want to enroll on? Maybe about your come again. Maybe about fire. About firing people. What? How to fire? Oh, firefighting. Yes. I mean, but professionally speaking, you can do a lot. And we're about to see that. How how you can become better, no matter what position you have. There's always a way a way to to become better in anything that you do, don't you think? Yes? And that is called reengineering. Who knows about reengineering? No? It's like I improve the this process, the, the actual processes. Correct. There are always ways to improve everything. If you started industrial engineering, and that, that's like key, it's a key. And if you're a supervisor or a manager, you need to know how to improve processes. There's always something extra that can be done. There's always a better way to do things. Okay, in just a minute. Before we move on, do you have questions about yesterday's grammar? grammar? No? No idea. Okay. I do have a question. Did you learn the grammar? Because we are going to check this uh, right now. I'll send you right now a simple exercise. And so you can practice. This will be on your WhatsApp right now. Give me just a minute. I'm just copying and pasting it for you. Oh my God, yeah, there we go. We have four so far, give me just a minute. So we need to use not only, but also on these examples that I'm sending you right now on your WhatsApp. It's just 10 sentences, try to do as much as you can. You need to use not only, but also. Let's see if you can use not only, but also in these answers, okay? We're gonna do it in trios. So let me split you, please accept the invitation. Nobody stays here. Let's go. Teacher, mm -hmm. it's necessary to join and join the room in the, the room number two. Please. Yeah. As as a listener, it's okay. It's okay, okay. if you if you're as a listener, it's okay. It's necessary to uh, uh, turn on the the camera light. No. no, 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 no. Just listen to your classmates, so you can okay. practice. Okay. okay. No. Have to use the. The fan modes that we used yesterday. Okay, number one. 
in a sentence is that there are problems with the children and there are problems problems with their parents. So not only and but also both and not. Number two. I don't know the number one. Not only. It's not only. Not only. Not only. Not only there are problems with the children, but also with their parents. Like that. Okay. Yes. Not only there. Sorry. I think it's like say Fatima. No. Uh, not all. Not only are problems with the children, but also are problem with their, their parents. Okay. Okay, now the second one. <laughs> um, is there, there are problems not only with the children, there are problems also, but also with the, their parents or no teacher. Okay, there are problems not only with the children, but also with their there parents. Mm. <laughs> Don't say there there are problems there are problems not only but also with their parents. Uh-huh. There are problems not only with the children, but also with their parents. But there are problems last the point? No, I don't know. Punto? Period? No, we don't need a period. Okay. Como en la frase que puso teacher. Ya no se vuelve a escribir eso. Oh, no, no, no. Sería redundante. Mm -hmm. There are problems with the children. Period. There are problems with the parents. So lo que vamos a reemplazar es ese del segundo. There are problems. Oh, okay, okay. 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 For example, in the second one, we have to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yes. So there are problems with the children. You are basically replacing the period. And the second time you repeat, there are problems. I mean, that's redundant. The second one, he can make people laugh. He can make people cry. I think that it could be not only he can make people laugh, um, but also can make people cry. Okay. Or uh, it's not like that. <laughs> but also make them cry. Uh, but also, okay. but he can also, you can also say this, but he can also make them cry. But he can also make them cry. Okay. Now, it's up to you. What sounds better? What sounds better? I think the second that mm -hmm. you say. <laughs> But he can also make them cry. Not only he can make people laugh, but he can also make them cry. True. Okay, okay. Keep going, keep going. 
Okay. Are you working individually? No teacher in group. Okay. But I I have a doubt with with uh, sentence number four. Mm -hmm. I send him my many letters. I send him many letters. I also try to telephone him. What's the doubt? Okay, if I say not only I send him many letters. But also, I also try to... Oh, oh, you're repeating. Uh, right, right. We can, we can erase that also. That, that, that also that's is second that also. Sentence. Right, right. I know that not only I send them many letters, but also try to telephone him. Okay. So, this is a mistake. Yeah, let, let's erase the second also. So... Okay. And is I not only send him many letters, I not only send him many letters, but also try to telephone him. Okay. In the last one is, I I think that correct. Uh, they they are also called in dark. That is correct. But also cold and dark. But also cold and dark. Okay. Short, but also cold and dark. In winter, the days are not only short, but also cold and dark. So in the last one, we have to take out the lay the they are or eraser. Scratch off, repeat. Scratch off. A scratch off. Okay. Scratch off. Scratch off. Scratch off. Like you can, new. You can you can, <laughs> you can use this. You can use this in a professional environment, Erica. Mind this. Mind this. You can uh, say, oh, you know what? Uh, so the last report was, uh oh, sorry, sorry, scratch that off, scratch that off. Let's start over. You see? Okay, okay. De manera figurativa, pues ocupar ese, eso. So, oh, scratch that off, borren eso, borren eso. Let's start over. So, okay, okay, and how, okay. Do you, how do you write it? It's on the Zoom chat. Ah, yeah, 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 scratch. <laughs> scratch what? off. Okay. It's like, shh, shh. Okay, what? <laughs> What what were you saying? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, number that one. Wait, which which one? I got lost. I'm the sorry. Last one. Oh, the last one. The last the one last again. One. Yeah. In winter, the days are short. They are also dark, cold and dark. Oh, that's what is confusing you that there is an also there already. Yeah, you need to scratch it off. Yeah. Scratch it off. In winter. Okay, so not only in win no in winter not only the days are in winter the days are in winter the days are not only short but also cold and dark. Not also. Good, good, good. Okay, let me check the last group and then we've done. We're done. 
remember the I I can I can't be I can't see the connectors. I don't remember. Which one are you working on? Uh, number five. Number four. I sent him many letters. I also try to telephone him. So what do you have? I think it's not only I send him many letters, but also I try to telephone him. But also I try to telephone him. What about I not only send him many letters, but also try to telephone him but also try to telephone him. On the second sentence, when you say, but also, uh, you don't need the subject again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can, you can. Scratch it off. Mm -hmm. I send him not only many letters. No, 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 but... I, I not only send him. I not only. I not only send him many, many letters, letters, but also but also try try to telephone him. Try to try or to telephone him. Okay. Oh, we are only using not only but also, remember? Oh. <laughs> not both and. Ah, okay. I don't understand that. <laughs> so the number three is not be the BC not not only write play for the revision, but also at news. Right. Then number five, we visit our grandfather's house in summer. We visit our grandfather's house in winter. So we visit our grandfather's house. So Not only. We, we visit our grandfather's house in summer. Not only not only in summer. This is for ground projects. Not only in summer. Mm -hmm. But, but, but also, also winter. In winter, you got it. Okay. We visit our grandfather's house not only in summer but also in winter. Mm -hmm. But six, she can dance. She can sing. This is very similar to Spanish. Ok, ella no solamente puede bailar, pero además cantar. Listen, ella no solamente puede bailar, pero además cantar. Not only. 
Aha, Ruth, good. She not only can dance, can dance, can dance. but also can no, sing. Uh, no, you don't need to repeat can. Also sing. Can. Sing. sing. That's it. That's it. She not only can dance, but also sing. <laughs> you see? Okay. okay. She not Sounds only better. can dance, but also sing. It's the same as in Spanish. It's the same thing. So we have in this one wrong. Not only can the people laugh, but also cry. There are different answers for that one. Not only he can make people laugh, but also cry. Yes. And the next one. I'll be waiting here for you if you need me. Okay. I'll be back, Sorry. actually. I'll be back. They Alguien me invocó. Alguien. No voy. Carla decía ahí, ok. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if the not only always is in the beginning or can be in the middle of the sentence or when is in, in one way or when is in another way. Ok, let's look at the first example. There are. Okay, that's not a, it's not an, a subject. Look, there are problems. That is not a subject. There is a verb to be already. So this is a, a phrasal noun, it said. Hold on. I tend to forget these terms. And so the first part is um, noun phrase. Sorry. The first part is a noun phrase. There are problems. That is a noun phrase. There are problems. Then you say not only with mm -hmm. the children and the situation, but also with their parents. Y decía la regla ayer que ambos lados van a tener nouns, no mm -hmm. verbos, no acciones. That's an example. El segundo ejemplo. Let's see. Uh, it was very clear to me. Yeah, it's an indirect object. Yeah. So the second thing. El segundo sería verbo, verbo. I, not only verbo, send him many letters, but also verbo, try to telephone him. You see the difference? First, you have there are problems, and then you have not only with the children, but also with their parents. So it's not it, that's noun versus noun. And the second example is verb versus verb. Not only I not only send him many letters, but also try to telephone him. And the book says you respect the grammar. This is all in simple past, the second sentence, you see? Mm. On both sides. And ambos lados tienes pasado simpler. Yeah. Ahora, como regla general, podrías tomar en el segundo, a la segunda oración que el not only y el but also vienen antes del verbo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you finish? No. no. Not only vienen antes del verbo. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, but also, pero cuando es una oración normal, digámosle. Okay, que tiene sujeto, verbo, complemento. Si es así, entonces respeto esta norma. Pongo el not only antes del verbo y el but also antes del siguiente verbo. Si es un nombre complejo, digámosle, un nombre frasal, como ese de there are problems, una situación, es una situación. ¿Ok? 
Entonces, en ese caso va después del not only, después del, del noun phrase. Y la segunda cláusula, igual manera, va a ser un noun, no es un verbo. El que sigue el but also. We will see it. We will see it again on the class. Mi, mi recomendación es lo que le he dicho a Adriana. ¿Qué suena mejor? Right? Because in the end, you know, in real life, this, I mean, uh, an American can understand what you're saying. So. Okay. For example, teacher, in the number three, I, I think it's she writes place not not only for television okay number three says she writes plays for television she acts in movies so what's the point the point is that she does two things she plays for television i mean she writes plays for television and she acts in movies so not only she writes plays or i'm sorry she not only writes plays for television, but also acts in movies. Mm -hmm. Ese sería otro ejemplo de lo que le decía Carla. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Mm -hmm. Entonces vengo y pongo el not only antes del verbo. She not only writes plays for television, but also, ya no necesito el sujeto, but also, voy con el siguiente verbo, acts in movies. Mm -hmm. Voy a ocupar eso para explicarles. Está bien más lógico eso. Ok. Right. Ok, ok. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. I'll be here. I'll be here if you need me. Ya les quedó claro. <laughs> sí. And the number four. Mm. Teacher say, I know, I not only send him many letters, but also, but also try to telephone him. Okay. But also, also. Uh, I not only no. sent, sent? Mm -hmm. I not only sent him many letters, but also, also try to telephone. Try to telephone him. Also, or, or need, but also try to telephone. Yes. Mm. 
Number five. I think that is we we not only visit our grandfather's house in summer, but but not not also. Uh, sorry, <laughs> but but also. <laughs> A grandfather's house in winter. What else? What we not only also visit. Mm. But also our father's grandfather's house in winter. But also, grandfather house in winter. But also, visit grandfather house in winter. Okay, okay. Everybody's coming back. There we go. I know this sounds a little bit confusing, but I think we found a key to understand uh, the grammar. When you see new grammar, it's like, is there something in common? You know, what is it like a trendy thing? What is the trend with this thing, you know? And just follow it. For example, um, okay, example number four. Oh no, number three, number three. Okay. If you notice on your, not on your workbook, on your student's book, it states that um, you need to follow verbs, right? When when it is a subject, let me go to the book. Where is the book? Here it is. Okay. I know you cannot see the book right now. Hold on. Okay. On yesterday's page, page 11, it says at the bottom, the formula, not only plus sentence, but also plus sentence okay so when you use not only if you notice we have a sentence and what is a sentence subject verb okay complement this is simple present subject verb complement so in this case we're going to respect that each pair conjunction will go before the verb she not only writes plays for television. Now, the purpose of the per conjunctions or one of the purposes is to make things shorter and not so repetitive. So not she not only writes plays for television. I remove the dot, the period. Then I go with this as well. And I say, but also acts in movies so she not only writes plays for televisions but also acts in movies 
So you have a verb and you have a verb. Okay. Something else is that you need to respect the grammar for both sides. Okay. Um, the other way around, when you have a noun phrase, when you have a noun phrase, I gave you an example. Well, the, num the number one, there are problems. Okay. Let's see. Number one, who did it? Who can tell me what's the right answer here? There are problems not, not on with the children. Okay. But also are problems with their parents. Uh, okay. If you notice, we're saying there are problems, right? So yes. do, do I need to repeat that there are problems? No, that's redundant. Look, so I just removed the whole thing. There are problems again. There are problems not only with the children, but also with their parents. Ahora les decía que eso es muy apegado al español. Muy apegado. Hay problemas, no solamente con los niños, pero además con sus padres. Okay. Creo que hacemos lo deberíamos, o sí, deberíamos hacer lo mismo en español si hablamos de esta manera, ¿no? Ok. Doubts on any of the exercises? Wh which one was the most difficult or the one that you think, oh my God, uh, this is not right? I, I, I'm doubting. Number eight, teacher. Number eight. Eight, he has been late four, time, four times. He hasn't done any work. Number one, do I have a sentence or a noun phrase? Let's see, a sentence. Subject, auxiliary, hmm. verb, in past participle, and complement. ¿Cuál es el tiempo gramatical, señores? He has been late four times. I need, necesito saber si conocen ese tiempo gramatical. What is, what is it? Press, uh, press, perfect. Press, 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 perfect. Good job, gentlemen. Yes, Jamie. He has been late for four times. So again, subject, auxiliary, have or has. Since I have third person, I need has. He has been late four times. Is this still present perfect? He hasn't done any work. Is that still present perfect? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's still present perfect. Has not. Yes, gentlemen, good job. So following the previous examples, okay. He not only has been late four times, let me see. He not only has been late. Oh, okay. So I have both options. Okay. He not only has been late four times, but also negative. Oh, sorry. But also hasn't done any work. He not only has been late four times, but also hasn't done any work. <clears throat> Make sense? Teacher, I have a question. Yep. Uh, when we have um the same verb in the in the first in the second sentence, and uh, we can say that in the second sentence we have to to don't use the the verb because yeah. it's the same. For example. Mm, for example, mm, the number. Mm, the number 
Five. Five. Okay. Okay. We have the same verb in the first and the second sentence. We visit. visit our grandfather's house. Not only in summer, but also in winter. We visit our grandfather's house. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got the answer straight. Let's see the sentence. Here, so we visit our grandfather's house in summer. We visit our grandfather's house in winter. Yeah, we visit our grandfather's house, not only in summer, but also in winter. Yeah, you don't need to repeat the verb. As we did here, she not only writes, no, what was it? No, number one, there are problems not only with the children, but also there are problems. No, I don't need to say there are problems. That's the point, to avoid sounding redundant. We visit, our, we visit our grandfather's house not only in summer, but also in the winter. Ahora, una observación en buen español, porque esto puede ser confuso. Estas son uh, oraciones um, hay oraciones independientes, independent clauses and dependent clauses. Dependent clauses. Y la diferencia es bien sencilla, luego lo veremos, pero quiero que se preparen para eso. O sea, es muy lógico esto, esta parte de la gramática. Yo no puedo solo venir y decirle a Adriana, eh, pero, además en, pero además en invierno. Hola Adriana, pero además en invierno. Right, like, what? Ah, ok. Nosotros visitamos a nuestros a nuestros abuelos eh, visitamos la casa de nuestros abuelos no solamente en el verano no solamente en el verano, pero también en el invierno pero además en el invierno ya tiene sentido ¿no? entonces esta parte, esta sería la cláusula dependiente así se llama, dependent clause ¿tiene sentido? y sin embargo esta puede ser independiente we visit our grandfather's our grandfather's house not only in summer Sí. Ok, eso lo veremos luego. That's the way you practice. You can just go to the internet and look for exercises. You put not only, but also exercises. Both in exercises. Good? You know this, right? What am I doing? You're in advanced. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. So tonight, hey, gentlemen. Uh uh can you can you can you do uh, examples with both and with both and um, later but yes i can do okay. it i'll do it let's just move with today's topic or our first um topic so i'll do a little intro here hold on Okay, so I'll need your help to read because I don't know how to read English. I'm sorry. Uh, let me go with Vanessa first. Okay. Power up your career with professional development trains. In a uh, rapid way, changing job market Keeping your skills up to date is crucial. Learn about the benefits of professional development trainings and how to choose the right ones for you. Good job. Crucial. 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 Yeah. Crucial. Good job. Choose. Choose. Don't doubt. Don't say choose. It's choose. 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 You got it. Choose. So... What do you think about this in a rapidly changing job market? Do you think the market is changing? When it comes to looking for a job, I have only teenagers here. Okay, I, I know you are young. All of you are young. So is it difficult to find a job, guys? Not right now. 
Yes. Yes, teacher. All the companies ask you for experience. <laughs> As a teenager. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's funny. That's funny, right? That that's the story of my life. That's the story of my life. In our country is always the same. But even with experience, you know, they still bate you. <laughs> they they just don't want you. If you're 40 like me, I mean they go like, oh no, this guy. And you know what? I understand. Uh, I think on both sides. I always think on both sides. The side of the company and the side of the employee. On on the side of the employee, yeah. He may be very prepared, awesome person, you know. But with the company, he's if he's 40, I wouldn't hire me. I wouldn't hire me. Because after 40, you start getting pains. Let's call them pains. Your knees start hurting. Your back starts hurting. And so your whole body starts charging you, you know. Empieza a pasarte factura. Right. It's normal. It's normal. So you don't want to invest on someone who will be going to the seguro all the time. But what happens if you see a very dynamic person and a very knowledgeable person? And that's my question. Is the job market changing? How is the job market changing, Jamie? Because before, let me tell you something, a key for my question. I used to grab a folder in my resume and go on, go by bus, you know, and go and apply for a job. Is that what you do nowadays? Mm. I don't know what is a rapidly changing. Rapidly. Rapidly. Rapid. Fast. Observación rápida. ¿Cómo convertir un adjetivo en... Oh, my God, I lost it. En adverbio. En adverbio. Un adverbio se forma al agregarle mayormente L Y al final. Esa L Y quiere decir mente, si no lo has analizado. Entonces, si tenés fast... Rápido, y le agregas la L-Y, ¿qué diría, Adriana? Fastly. Right, of course. In Spanish. <laughs> ah, rápidamente. Rápidamente, right. Uh -huh. Good. Goodly. That's weird. Wait. Quick. Buenísimo. Quickly. Aha, uh -huh, good, goodly, mm -hmm. buenísimo, aha, uh -huh, good job. Quickly, rapidamente, I don't know. Badly, sadly. Sadly, that's very common. Sad, sadly. I hope, espero que entendido. Okay. So, Jamie, rapidly changing market. So, the market, the job market is changing like really fast. So, do you still take your resume, your paper resume, to a job interview, Jamie? In my case, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, I believe that in in case of country is difficult because uh, a lot of teen, a lot of teenagers are graduate, so they get their degrees, but the the economy is. It's growing slowly. It's slowly. <laughs> it's growing slowly. Nah, in our no. country, not in our country. Did you hear that Google is coming? Mm, but if you do a compare, a how many? If you do a comparison, uh, how many teenagers are are getting uh, a degree? And how many can get a job, a good job? I know a lot of classmates that they haven't job yet. They, they don't have, and, a, they repeat, they don't have a job. They don't, they don't have, a, they don't have a job. Yet. Yet. 
Good job, good job. They don't have a job yet. They don't have a job yet. They don't have a job yet. Repeat, repeat, and you will get it. It's really, okay. yeah, that that's true. It is true. Okay. I totally, I totally agree with you. Now, my question is: is the is the market, the job market, changing in terms of getting a job process? Yes, it is changing because companies are doing interviews through video you know, through virtual uh, environment. They just call you on Zoom or whatever, you know, and they just see you. Um, now, do you think it is important keeping your skills up to date? For example, do you know how to use Dropbox? Or, mm -hmm. yeah? No? Mm, yes, it is 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 necessary. Okay, it is necessary. What is something that you know how to do that most people don't? Fatima. What is something that you know how to do that most people don't? Regarding technology, you know, a program that you know how to use, I don't know. In the marketing. In marketing. Is there a software that you know how to use? No? So the, the point is someone with knowledge on marketing could shine, you know, or be better than the rest by knowing something, a, a special software. Carla, what is something that you know that I don't? If we both go and apply for a job, why will they hire you and not me? Mm -hmm. What, what, why? Let's say we, you and I, we are in an interview for mm -hmm. a position. Why will they hire you and not me? Why, what are you good at? Mm. Uh, maybe. Uh, responsibility. You're more responsible. Okay. You are more responsible than me. Imagine that I don't have kids. Carla has kids and she looks like very serious, very formal. They will hire her if they are looking for someone with that, those, or I mean, sorry, these characteristics. If they're looking for someone organized, responsible, then they will hire Carla. So it is important. Um, yes to have your skills up to date. The benefits of professional development trainings. Let's go with <clears throat> who, Jamie? Teacher, I, I think in these days is uh, it's important that people, for example, teenager uh, can be a master because for example, in the company that I work, uh, 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 we in, in one interview, uh, uh, maybe is uh, is um, um, probably probably there's a chance. There uh, is a chance. There is a chance. Uh, people can have a master. And I think the career, the, uh, the university is no that. Um, it's not enough. Uh, yeah, it's not enough. Good words. Okay. It's not enough. If you want a chance uh, to get a job, just having a career nowadays is not enough. 
It's not enough. You need a master degree at least. And that's true. That's true. Let's see why, Jamie. Go. The benefits of professional development trainings. Reading. Please. Stay competitive. Get, get the last the latest skill demanding by your industry and you stay ahead on the competitive competi competition. Competition, good job. Competitive. Competitive. Uh-huh. Competitive. From now on, I will I will try to do this. From the ahora en adelante voy a procurar hacer eso. Poner el puntito. Si ¿Sí ven el puntito. Cuando vea que hay una palabra que yo considere difícil o nueva, les voy a poner el puntito ahí para que eh, se acuerden, ¿no? El estrés de la sílaba. The syllable stress. Let's go with number two, Jenny. Jenny. Boost your confidence. Unlock your potential and gain the confidence to take on new challenges and responsibility. Challenges and responsibilities. Good job responsibilities okay let's go with the first two first uh gain the latest skills demanded by your industry and stay ahead of the competition what are your competitions you know continuing with the example of having other co-workers if let's say you work in marketing if you stood with the old-fashioned way of doing marketing and you don't know about the new strategies of marketing, then, mm -mm. for example, a uh, latest marketing strategy that they are using is links through social networks, right? Fatima, I think, knows about marketing. The links on social networks, for example, if you watch a TikTok video about a new cell phone, Okay, somebody's doing a review on TikTok and he goes like, go to my the link on my bio. Go to the link on my bio. Why? If you want to buy that product. If he sells the product, he gets a commission. But that's marketing as well, right? Good. Okay. So that's what this is about. If you know about these things, you're good. I mean, you're in good shape with your skills. Uh, boost your confidence, unlock your potential, and gain the confidence to take on new challenges and responsibilities. If your boss goes one day like, hey, uh, who knows about how to, you know, make this video grow on, on, on what social network should we use as company, you know? And nobody knows what's better, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, what's better? Uh, and you go like, you know what? I, I, I started this, I took a course, I have a little certification, you know, and I understand about social networks. This one's better. Okay, you know what? Your boss will be like, you're the new marketing manager. Is that okay? Sure. Same payment. No, no, no increase. Okay. Same payment. <laughs> okay. Grow your network. Adriana. Grow your network. Meet and collaborate with professionals in your field to expand knowledge and opportunities. Good job. Meet and collaborate with professionals in your field. This is just, uh, well, a common thing, you know, it's very old, this term to grow your network. Before we used to make meetings <laughs> and back in the days, right, Carla, we used to have little presentation cards, you know, and go like, hey, I'm Rafael, here's my card, nice to meet you. But now, nowadays it's so funny because I mean, anybody can find you if you're on social networks, right? They can simply look for you and that's it. Okay, but yeah, the more people you know, the better. That is true, that is true. Your your network is broader, you know, it's better. Keep your brain sharp, Joelman. Keep your brain sharp. 
continue to learn and grow to keep your mind sharp and engage engage them you got it close close engaged engaged okay let's do it together engaged engaged good engaged continue engaged. to learn and grow to keep your mind sharp and sharp and engaged 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 it's not easy practice that okay always keep your mind in sharp sharp and engage how do you do that you do exercise exercise is good to keep your brain sharp you know fresh that's very important so the many types of professional development trainings and this is tonight's lesson what type of professional development trainings are there so this is what our next task is we need to find out more about these different fields of trainings. So I'll split you in three groups and you need to do a quick research online about on-site trainings, online trainings and off-site trainings. On-site trainings, we have on the job, mentorship programs and job shadowing, this is amazing. Online trainings, we have webinars like the one you're taking right now or a virtual conference, if you want to call it, an online course. All of that is included here. Off-site trainings, you are in presence, you know, you are live on a seminar, a workshop, or industry conferences. So just briefly find out more about this. And when you come back, just let the class know what is an on-site training, what are online trainings, and what is off-site trainings, okay? Okay. We have to look for example or or the meaning. Lo voy a decir en español súper rápido porque necesito que quede claro. Eh, les decía en la clase anterior, a mí me interesa más que usted me dé sus términos en sus propias palabras. O sea, ¿qué idea le da eso? Sí, investigo un poco, chivo en grupo, it has so on the job trainings. It means that on the job you you you're trained there. They don't pay somebody else. No, they just get a co a partner, a coworker, and he teaches you. And that's on the job. Mm. Okay, and what's the difference with mentorship? It says this, this, and that. And then when you come back to the class. In your own words, you go like, well, on the job training is this, this, and that. Mentorship programs, the difference is that they have everything online and you can just read it. I don't know. Okay. Si se entendió. En tus propias palabras, decir que entiendiste por cada término. Comparar esos tres, por ejemplo, en el caso de on-site trainings. Um, we are 13. Habemos 13. Solo puede vivir entre grupos de cuatro prácticamente. Y entre los cuatro, lo, que, lo importante es discutir entre los cuatro. Mira, yo creo que esto es esto y esto. Yo he encontrado esto, esto dice esto y esto. Y definir quién va a explicar a la clase qué es cada cosa. En sus propias palabras. In your own words, ¿ok? Teacher. Ok. Let's do it. De nuevo, nadie se queda acá, por favor. Let's go. Hello. Okay. This group will be talking about on-site trainings. Okay. Okay. So, tienen on-site trainings and they'll explicarlo brevemente. Okay. Thank you.
Hello. Okay, hello. Vanessa, Lucy, and Jolman. You are in charge of online trainings. The one in the middle. Online trainings. Están en el chat. Okay. Okay. Only, only this one. Solo eso, huh? Only online trainings, webinars, virtual conferences, and online courses. Okay. Okay. Online trades. Solo ese topic. Thank you. Hello, group number three. You are in charge of off site trainings, the third option from left to right. Seminars, workshops, industry conferences. Okay. okay. Briefly, just explain it to the class, okay? I got it. Okay, I'll be here. Of science training. Eh, chicos, perdón, me tengo que levantar 30 segundos, okay? No problem, teacher. Oh, sorry. Oh, Seminar, sem, seminars, mm -hmm. seminars, workshops, industry conference. It's okay. Outside training is like uh, the training and the others on the other sites in the company, for example. You receive on the capacity in the other place in different topics. Uh, uh, I am reading for seminars and is say an advanced or graduate course often during informality and discussion. Or a schedule, a schedule, a schedule mm -hmm. meeting of a seminar of a room for such meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we have to explain in all in, in all words. <laughs> what? We have to explain in all words. In the other words. I think what? that we can describe uh, this part of about of side trainings like um presence presential events um when about uh, a specific topic or something like that. Like the industry conference. In my Sorry.
And say twenty is a train on organization. I think. I understand that our program, I, I understand that, the, that our program that is developed in, into the company. Okay. Because when, for example, if you see the another, another, or the other type piece, for example, light train, you must pay for it. And on some train is a uh, our programs that you can do daily. Online for what? Per, per day, yes. I understand that. Uh, making for all the employees. Because say on the job training, what do you understand about that? I don't know. <laughs> Nor me, but <laughs> we must <laughs> buy idea. <laughs> mm. I, I understand that, for example, your boss uh, create a program that you can train for to do better your 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 work mm. mentorship program is programa de tutoria young a uh, job challenging I guess that is shadowing Shadow. That's when you when you see somebody working, you just stay quiet and you just watch him or her working and you learn seeing. You make questions, right? Hey, how did you do that? Oh, okay. You learn shadowing. You are somebody's shadow. <laughs> Say mm. is a type of on the job training that allows an interested employee to follow and closely observe mm -hmm. another employee performing their role. Correct. If it is, for example, when you when someone is still you mm, in the back. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what it is. Okay.
because if you if you share if you search in you say on site training refer to education or skill development program conduct in a in person at the workplace or the sign training location it's like it's like courses courses mm -hmm. it's okay teacher yeah i think online courses could be when you subscribe to some page and they in the page has um, the videos that you can watch so it isn't online so you can watch it when you have the time and when you can make the home course so you can interact with the platform it's i think this is this is the different this is online it, courses it's like when you for example you 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 want you want to you want to know you want to learn uh for example information mm -hmm. uh, uh, about computers uh, computer systems but you don't have uh time for a time to to go uh, uh, a a place you 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 take a a a, a you take a a course an online course and you can know you can learn about about that in your house you don't you don't don't need go out to 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 learn about that yeah this is the better way to try to to know something new with the with the easy way to stay in your home i and... i i think in this in this topic you 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 save you save money you save uh time money 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 mm -hmm. money, money, save, money 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 you save money you save time mm -hmm. yeah and they are flexibility because they are flexible access. Flexible. You can, act, you, when, you can do it when, when you have the time. Yes, when you don't have time. And when you when you want to to save money, it's okay because if you go out to another place, other place, you have to you have to pay for for drive you have to pay for uh, you have to pay transport you have to buy a a, a pay tip uh, a snack or lunch outside home mm -hmm. you, so you can save money Yes. So also uh, some online courses are in internet are free that you can subscribe and you can make it without any any cost. But okay, okay. We 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 thought we are we are talking about good good things about that. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no not no not only are good teams i think there is there are but but teams for example you don't learn the same you don't learn uh, very well like uh,
Okay, are we ready? Sorry? Are we ready? I think <laughs> we okay. was talking about uh, about the top about our topic with Carla and that's <laughs> Okay. Okay, it's just in your own words, remember? Let me let me give you two more minutes, okay, so we can finish. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, are we ready? No. I think I don't know. <laughs> okay. You have two minutes. Okay. Jamie, hola, hello. <laughs> you you participate. <laughs> oh, I I can play something. <laughs> I can't do it.
we choose a representative doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, four, three, two, one. Here we go. So group number one. Erika, Fatima, Jamie, and Ruth. Okay. We are going to describe a little of the type of professional development training is on site training. We were talking about these types, and we conclude that uh, that is a kind of uh, education or programs that uh, their objectives are are try to uh, develop in the skill of the employees and are conducting. Uh, for each person of the company, and these programs are developed in into the company uh, as the workplace. So uh, you can you can get uh, on the job training, uh, mentorship programs, and job shadowing. What what Joe Joe shoveling, shadowing Shadow. shadowing. <laughs> yeah, shadowing. I forget it. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Joe shadowing. Uh huh. So what is? So the... it are, oh, go go are, ahead. I'm sorry. Are trainings that uh, are developed in, into a company, uh, so you don't have to go. To another place to develop it, so it's in is into inside the company. Inside the company. Okay. And okay, so what's on the job trainings is is inside mentorship programs. Anybody? Mentorship programs is um, when an employee capacity or education give instruction and knowledge to other employee who need it. Who needs it? Okay. Oh, so he becomes a mentor. Mentor. Oh, that's why the word. Okay. Okay, that was not clear for me. And your shadowing is just observing, right? I'm asking you because this is like the common thing on call centers. You know, you have your shadowing. People is always shadowing, listening to you, watching your screen and learning from you. Okay, on-site trainings. Good job. Let's go with group number two. Thank you, Jamie and Fatima. Let's talk to online trainings now, group number two. 
Hector, Joelman, Samantha, and Vanessa. Hector, um, online trainings, I think it was increasing the popularity after the pandemic because all the supplier has have to change the modality to the presential uh, to virtual. So I think webinars and can can help the people to to explain different topics. So and some pages you can su subscribe it and get the webinars. And it's easy to use it because you can access wherever you are. So for the companies, uh, for example, in my company, the our RH department send me the webinars to improve my skills. So you can access and in different times. So you can access to the webinars. And but the difference with the uh, virtual conference and online courses is the webinars are is it's only for listening i think and you can comment in the text box and the the the, the person sends like polls and you can ans answer the polls then we have virtual conference so in this case you can interact with the people and with the people and the other example was online courses that you for example it exceeds different different types so online courses could be for free so you can search on the internet uh, whatever topic that you want to know and you can subscribe for free and make it when you have the time because uh, in some cases there are different videos and you can watch it when you have the time so these these are some benefits that online training has that you can also save money because you you can get in a in a specific place so you have to 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 pay for the, the, the bus or your taxi or for the gas. So in this case, you can save this 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 money. We if you have if you have the online trainings. And Holman will explain some negatives, benefits that ha the online trainings have. Okay. Uh, the online trainings have good things i think uh, for example when you are in, when you are at home it's like oh i am very tired uh, today i just i just want to listen to class but i don't want i don't want to participate only i'm going to listen to my classmates and you, your karma, your karma is off. Is off. Uh, that's 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 bad. It's not okay. Uh, other situation can be, you are in the class, but you are with the cell phone. You are watching reels in Instagram. You are. <laughs> You are you are watching um memes. <laughs> uh, I think you have a lot of distractions at home. You are in class, but you are you are cooking. You are eating. You are preparing the things for the next day. You you don't you don't you don't uh you don't be uh in the class all uh, all time you don't have to 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 the class uh for complete 
Okay. You, yes, I do. <laughs> so it's more yeah. negative things than positive things. Yes, yes. Could be. Uh, some, uh, sometimes the 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 internet is 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 yes. bad, or don't have energy, electric mm -hmm. energy. That's the problem. Uh, there is uh, uh, it's raining very, very, very hard. Uh huh. Yes, it's it's a problem. There is different problems or mm -hmm. or sit or negative situation. I agree oh, with you. <laughs> or you get sleepy, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, you 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 sometimes. <laughs> I got you. Yes, sometimes sometimes says, "Oh, I am very tired. I'm going, I'm going to bed a little little midnight." Mm -hmm. But that this uh that the those little minutes are uh twenty. 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> okay gentlemen i got you thank you thank you for that we're still missing one group and we're missing five minutes i'm sorry uh gentlemen thank you thank you let's go with the last group guys off-site trainings off-site trainings <laughs> okay um what we um what we have prescribed this um, this concept, and um, we can understand this like a, a presential event, and because we have the difference between this difference between online trainings and our other difference that we have with on-site training that we the people have to go for uh, in to a specific place and also um these streets on a specific um topic and and this is more interactive or it will depend because we have seminar workshop and you did this the um these are more interactive than industry conference because in a con in a conference we have a, a speaker and the people just go to to listen and learn about something and um, also we have an uh, uh, someone that is leading a, a meeting and and that is I think that is that is a, a short uh, description to to upset trend. okay yeah I totally agree with you offside trainings are are more boring, I will say. But when it says conference, guys, uh, for example, online, no, virtual conferences and industry conferences is the same thing. As uh, one of your classmates said, you're just a listener. You're just listening to the speaker. And it's up to the speaker how entertainful is the conference of or if it is boring if you haven't had the time to watch TED Talks TED Talks are something very good for you to get more vocabulary you know and, and expand your knowledge TED Talks are, are very good um, who can you watch uh, you can watch Tony Robbins for example you can watch videos of Progress, procrastination is, is a very good topic as well. Procrastination. If you don't know what it is, Google it. It's very interesting as well. Procrastinar. Um, and one more thing, maybe. Uh, Omar Villalobos. Es posible lo imposible. Omar Villalobos. Es posible lo imposible. And there's a conference for 19 minutes. There's a video. Es posible lo imposible. 19 minutes. Watch that video. If you want to become better in your life, let's say, and do better things, watch that video and understand it. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow so we can continue discussing uh, your areas of improvement on these expositions. Thank you all.
I'll see you at the same time. I'm staying with Adriana, please, Adriana. Por favor, Adriana, don't se vaya de la sala sin por favor quedarse diez minutos. Sí. Yay. Okay. Good. This time <laughs> I'm staying with, with Adri. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me do the attendance. Adriana José, Serna Durán. Present. <laughs> Sorry. Daniel Antonio Luna. Erika Jazmín Martínez Carpio. Present. Okay. Fátima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present. Iván Petrovic Guzmán Aquino. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Yolman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Lucy Nathalie Juárez de Ramírez. Hi, here. Thank you. Nelson Antonio Herrodas Rosales. Present. Thank you. Ruth Isela Joaquín Flores. Present. Thank you. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Thank you. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have some sleep. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sorry, I'm just looking for my dog. Okay. okay. It's just that I think he smells like gasoline because he, <laughs> he went under the car, you know, because I, I lifted the car. And I, the car is lifted on the garage right now because tomorrow I'm going to repair it. But the thing is that there's gas, you know, fuel leaking Maybe he is. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm hating this smell, you know, like gasoline. Uh, anyway. There are people who like mm -hmm. It's awful. Hey, good word. <laughs> it's awful. Tell me about your English background. Where have you learned what you know? Well, I was in a, in a free course, courses in English, the um de la Universidad Pedagógica mm -hmm. and since I was like I was a teenager <laughs> I was like I finished um like when I was fifteen um, years old. Last year? Mm -hmm. Last year? Uh, no. <laughs> fifteen years old last year. You're yes. like you're like 16, right? No. No, really. Actually, you look like my my daughter, you know, your face. <laughs> the people always say me say me that. And then tell, say, tell, uh, people always tells me that. Tell, tells me that. <laughs> tell me that. Uh-huh. When I go to to the seguro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there was I don't know how to say that. This um um, a nurse uh -huh. wants to pass me with the pediatra. What? <laughs> really? I, yeah. but, but you're like 19 or something. I mean, 20, 23. You're 23. Oh, my God. You're just like me. You know, we eat the years and that's good. And you, yes. will, you will look. How old are you? I'm 41 right now. But. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, many people go like, oh my gosh, you look like 30 or something. I don't yes, know. Yes, yes. But still, right? Still. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know. No, but I'm not feeling like that anymore. I'm starting since last year. <laughs> since last year, I'm starting to feel the pain in my body, you know. So, uh, uh, yes. Actually, actually, don't tell anybody, but I'm having <laughs> I'm having surgery um next at uh, the end of this month. At the end of this month, mm. yeah, because of the hand, you know, it's this finger. This finger stays stays stuck, you know. It's trigger. It's a trigger finger. It doesn't go back really fast. Oh, and, and if you don't have a problem with the 
Um, I also know how to say this in this, in English. Um, tunnel de Carpiano? No, it's uh, Quiste sin <laughs> Yeah, it's this one. You see it? There it is. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's not that. It's not El Tunnel, no. It's a Quiste. So, yeah, it's, it's smaller, but at the same time, you know, it's really annoying. It's... I have never seen that. That... Yeah, take <laughs> take care of your your wrist, wrist, wrist. Uh, this is a wrist. Ah, yeah. okay. The your wrists are very sensitive to the mouth. The for... Because you spend too much time on the computer, you know, mm, or ah, moving. Yeah, with the and mouse. With the mouse. This is the main the main um, problem. Issue. The main issue. Uh, the, main the main issue. The main reason why. This is cost. Um, so since you were little, let's say you were studying English, okay. Hmm, that's been a long time then. And, yes. and are you studying at the university, or did you finish already? I have finished in on May. I I have my I have my graduation. You had your graduation on May. Yes. Mm -hmm. Was it virtual the last two years or what? Yes. Wow. Oh, it was virtual. <laughs> and you became a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> a surgeon. A surgeon through virtual classes. Oh, my um, God. Um, how do they do that, really? I mean, wow. How did you feel being on virtual classes? Well, to be honest, I I like some, something. I have a, a remote uh, job, so I I almost don't uh, go out to from to from my house. Okay, I got you. Huh? Same thing and here. So I really really like I like to stay at home. To be honest, <laughs> you you like to to be at home. Yes. Okay. Do you have a dog? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you need a couple. You need someone to talk to. <laughs> yes. That's I have a, a dog and a turtle. So I have two cats <laughs> too. Yeah. I have two cats. Yeah, but it's funny, right? You have to talk to, to them, you know. It's weird yes. to be alone all day. I mean, uh, I'm getting I'm getting tired of being at home. Don't you get tired? To be honest, no. It's Mark um um cans how do you say cansado tired is more, more tired. tired to me go out to of, of my house because the traffic because of because of because of traffic uh -huh. because of traffic and the people is angry in the in the street and and I think there is a lot of things that I don't like <laughs> And you have to to get up very very angry. Oh yes, <laughs> That's and, true. and and very very um early. So That's something that, that I I I think that I have much advantages. <laughs> I I understand, but do you exercise? Mm, physical. Yeah, phys yeah. Do you work out? Do you work out? Mm, uh, to be honest, uh, no. <laughs> no, you should do it. You should do it because yes. spending all all days, you know, sitting for at least me that that's like ten hours, ten eleven hours a day, I'm sitting. Oh. So that's a problem later. Right now, you will not feel it. It's okay. Oh. Okay, Did but you... eventually. Oh, yes, that is something that I had to. To and improve, drink a lot of water, a lot of uh, water. It's very important yes, yes. to watch out your your foods. You know, don't eat too many candies, sugar, chocolate. Oh yes. I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm telling you right now because I don't want you to go through what I'm going. You know, it's uh, it's difficult when you, the older you get, the more difficult it is to get thin. To reduce your weight is more difficult. So mm, be yes. careful, be careful. And how long have you been working remotely? I just have one year. One year? 
for the last yeah. year. Okay. Okay. But you're gaining experience. That's good. Yes. That is the that is something that I that I really like. <laughs> good. Hey, you speak very well, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of time without practicing and speaking. So I will in the first well what was was um just started in the first class, mm -hmm. but I felt very, very nervous. <laughs> I know, I know. You were nervous. And I was like, what is this kid doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, don't worry. <laughs> I knew, I mean, if you're in this course, it's because you work already. So come on. Yeah. <laughs> it cannot be a That kid. is something like. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, she's an imposter at this time. <laughs> but yeah, that's not possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Adri. If you need anything, just text me on my WhatsApp. If you want to improve something or you need a text to be translated, it's fine. I can help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Good night. Good night.